It's truly an incredible experience to come here. So all you have to do is bring a swimsuit and a good attitude and you will learn how to surf here. You'll have a great time. You'll eat well, you'll meet really nice people, and you'll enjoy every minute of it. Really great people, really great food, incredible instruction, like every single thing is so thoughtful, so taken care of. I feel so, so lucky that I got to come here. You know, so a big tip of the hat and thank you to the, to the Surf Simply team for the work they've done making this work in, uh, in the time of COVID. I've been surfing for about a year and I have not really improved that much. I've kind of regressed actually. Well, I saw the videos and I read it, all the testimonials about how the teaching is done here and it sounded like the perfect way to learn. So my sister and I decided to come and it's been incredible. I live in Northern California, I always have, and I've always had a wetsuit and would go out in the waves and I kind of splash around and get washing machined in the waves, but never consistently caught waves, never knew what to do once I was on the wave. I've been surfing for a number of years. Uh, I haven't seen sort of consistent progress and I've never had any like coaching or training with surfing and so I really wanted to get some training or some coaching for uh, learning how to surf. My name is Harold, I'm an investment banker. My name is Kumar, I'm a silicone startup billionaire. My parents still disapprove. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I actually found Surf Simply by uh, through YouTube, watching YouTube videos to try to learn how to surf better. But I found Rue's videos very helpful. And so I was like, oh, let me look at Surf Simply online. And I found that you guys had a, a surf school. So I was like, oh, this, this is the best vacation you can take right now. The first time I ever stepped on a board was on Waikiki back in 1996 or 7. Ever since then, I've always tried to, to go surfing. And then I think it really got more serious when I first came to uh, Surf Simply about was it four years ago. It's really an environment where I've come where I can have a, a relaxing, you know, very enjoyable week where I don't have to think about anything, but that I also get all of this great feedback from the coaches as well as visual examples and drills about how I can then improve. The coaching method here is spectacular. They video you and so you can see after your lesson how well you're doing, you can see what mistakes you're making, and then go back in the afternoon and try to correct those mistakes. The tree of knowledge is all of the things that you have to pick up, and so this like breaks it down so explicitly and clearly. That in combination with theory sessions where you go over the, the videos of you surfing, I mean, it's sort of like mind-blowing. Like, it's like we can like go through each wave that you rode, see what you did right and what you did wrong and how that relates to the tree of knowledge. The foundational approach they take to it, to me, makes a lot of sense. It creates an environment where you can then go to the next maneuver. It's not about learning the fanciest trick. It's like, no, you need to learn these three or four or five skills, and then that will lead you into the next maneuver or the next trick. It's just the, the level of detail and the, the way we did drills in the white water to kind of like really master each technique and then take it out back and take it on the unbroken waves. And it covers everything. It's not just about like, how are you standing, but also how are you reading the waves? How are you uh, dealing with etiquette in the water? So it really covers everything.
My coaches were Derek and Gabriel, and they were both fantastic. Derek has so much knowledge about surfing, and, and they're with you all the time in the water and, and really supportive, so it's really great for learning. My coach is Will, he's from the UK. He was very good at explaining things, very detail-oriented, so I thought he was great. I think the work for Harry is he's dialed in, understands you know the tide, the winds, how the waves form, how they're gonna break, where to catch them. So he's just very, very kind of informed. I've never had a coach who cared so much about my progress as Teal. Every day she came out with so much enthusiasm and just always was telling us, like, great job, and here's what you can do a little bit better. And just day by day, ride by ride, we, we got there. It was awesome. Yeah, so I worked with Coach Harrison and, and Coach Marlin, and they were both fantastic. Marlin is a super outgoing personality. He's just really fun to be around and hang out in the water with. Coach Harrison drops these nuggets of wisdom. You know, after he sees you surf, you paddle back out, and he's like, you know, it's like, hey, like, focus on this thing next time. This week I worked with Jesse and, and Jordan, and they were just outstanding. You know, we had the first day here at Surf Simply, which was great, and then on Monday, they went to Ostenal to go surf, which was just a real treat. And I've continually gotten great feedback in video review as well as with, you know, working directly with them out in the lineup, which has been great. I just didn't want them to end. Every moment I, and I was like, there's a little part of me that was like, I just don't want it to end. I mean, both sessions today were kind of amazing. The sunrise session today, like there was kind of a mist over the water in the distance and the light was shining right in the white water and it was kind of golden. It was beautiful and the waves were really kind. <laughs> For me, the highlight this week is probably in terms of like practical surfing maneuver would be learning that where I was positioning myself on my board and that I need to get more weight forward to generate speed and getting a, you know, they put some black electrical tape on the board to kind of create a visual for me, which was beyond helpful. Kind of honing in on my stances. Um, I think I kind of figured out like a nice, comfortable, dynamic stance, which was kind of like a, a really big shift in kind of how I, I move into the wave. I had this injury coming, I have a shoulder uh, injury. It's about three months old, but it's still definitely there. The massage was crucial, and they were really great about figuring out what my range of motion was and giving me some stretching tips for my own, but then the stretching classes themselves were, I just think, like, crucial. After a morning of surfing, like, I didn't want to do a yoga class, but the stretching was just, like, so restorative, so exactly what my body needed. I, I think the highlight was all the, the people I met here. They're all kind of superhuman and amazing in their own ways, and lots of interesting conversations, and I kind of look forward to kind of keeping in touch with them. and. Um, learning from them and kind of asking them questions and even meeting up with them in the future, so that was, that was really nice. So, but everyone's been delightful because everyone has different levels of background in surfing, but what brings us all together is I think a desire to improve and to, to, to enjoy each other's company and to have a good time out in the water and I think that was, that was the best part, that regardless of your skill level, people are supportive and encouraging and that's the kind of the culture of Surf Simply for me that's it's always been very, very, very special and something I will always uh, want to come back to. Well, to me, if you want to learn how to surf, there's no better way. You come here, you're immersed in it, it's a surf camp. They teach you all of the dynamics of how and why things work, and you get to do it in the ocean twice a day. So it's an incredible way to learn to surf. You have everything kind of provided for you right here. You get picked up right at the airport. You get three five-star meals served right in your lap. You get coaching one-to-one -one or two, one-to-two, you know, throughout the day. So you get all these things kind of packaged in, but yeah, overall, it was, it was definitely worth it. Luxury boutique hotel meets surf boot camp, basically. Really great people, really great food, incredible instruction, like every single thing is so thoughtful, so taken care of. 
it is good value for money. Like at the end of the day, it was just like everything is perfect. The food was incredible. Dennis is spectacular. I understand he's making a cookbook, so I'm gonna be the first one to get that. Food was primo. Everyone behind the kitchen is freaking awesome. You know, you're eating well, but you're, you're eating healthy. Use of local ingredients in really creative ways. We don't eat that much meat, and it, it just was, every plate was beautiful and perfect. We don't like to admit it, but we're food snobs, and the food here is amazing. We knew it was gonna be good, but I think it exceeded what we thought it was gonna be. Definitely learned how to angle my takeoff better and I'm much better at turning, especially with carving. And so I think I've made some real progression. Yeah, I don't know, just thank you to Surf Simply and the staff and the coaches and the chefs and feel so, so lucky that I got to come here. Everything seems, it works so seamlessly. It's like I know there are things that we don't even think about that are happening that just make the whole experience seamless. You know, so a big tip of the hat and thank you to the, to the Surf Simply team for the work they've done making this work. and. Uh, in the time of COVID. We're, we're putting out a movie called Harold and Kumar Go to Costa Rica. Yeah. Harold and Kumar invade Nosara. Um, and we'll be funded by my Silicon Valley startup, Absolutely. Billionaire Money. It's so. a good thing you didn't become a doctor. We're all set, yeah. yeah. Neo. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Cheers. Wow. <laughs>